Now, we looked at y parameters where the voltages are taken as independent variables and currents as dependent variables and z parameters where the currents were independent variables and the voltages were the result of those currents. Now, there is no need to take voltages on both sides to be independent variables or currents on both sides, we can mix and match. Now, let us say we have a two port and we think of applying a current to port 1 and a voltage to port 2. Okay. Now, the voltage here V 1 and the current over there I 2 will also be linear combinations of independent sources that are applied. Okay. And in this particular case, when we take I 1 that is current on port 1 and the voltage on port 2, the set of parameters we get are called H parameters. Okay. So, we have V 1 to be H 1 1 I 1 plus H 1 2 V 2 and we have I 2 to be H 2 1 I 1 plus H 2 2 V 2. Okay. In other words, this vector V 1 I 2 equals H 1 1 H 1 2 H 2 1 H 2 2 times the vector I 1 V 2. Okay. Now, this is denoted by the letter H to denote that they are hybrid. Okay. So, these are known as hybrid parameters and that they are hybrid parameters because this voltage equals H 1 1 times a current. So, H 1 1 has dimensions of resistance this voltage equals H 1 2 times V 2. So, H 1 2 is dimensionless. Okay. So, this has dimensions of resistance that is dimensionless. This is obviously for dimensional consistency and similarly in the second expression I 2 equals H 2 1 times I 1. So, this has to be dimensionless H 2 1. So, this is also dimensionless and finally, this is a current equaling something times a voltage. So, H 2 2 has dimensions of conductance. Okay. So, the four parameters do not have the same dimensions. So, they are called hybrid parameters. Okay. Now, evaluation of this is exactly in the same way as earlier. You set one of the independent variables to 0 and evaluate them. As before, you can take four different sets of uh, the independent variables and evaluate everything, but the most convenient thing is to set one of them to be 0. Okay. So, in the first case we set V 2 to 0, which means you short circuit port number 2 and you apply I 1 to this side and you measure V 1 and I 2. Okay. So, what do we get with uh, V 2 set to 0? We have V 1 to be H 1 1 I 1 
in other words h 1 1 is simply v 1 by i 1 or the resistance looking into port 1 with port 2 short circuited. Okay. And similarly, we have from the second equation I 2 is H 2 1 times I 1 or H 2 1 is simply I 2 by I 1 that is the current gain from port 1 to port 2 with port 2 short circuited. Okay. So, this is resistance looking into port 1 with port 2 short circuited and H 2 1 is the current gain from port 1 to port 2 with port 2 shorted. Okay. The general principle is always the same you set uh, one of the independent variables to 0 and apply a stimulus on the other side and evaluate two of the parameters. Okay. And similarly, we set I 1 to 0, which means we are open circuiting port 1. Okay. If I set I 1 to 0, it means that port 1 is open circuited and then you apply V 2 and you measure both I 2 and V 1. So, V 1 would be just H 1 2 times V 2 because I 1 is 0 and from this we get H 1 2 to be V 1 by V 2 with port 1 open circuited. Okay and this is nothing but this is called the inverse voltage gain that is the voltage gain from port 2 to port 1. With port 1 open circuited and we get I 2 to be H 2 2 times V 2. In other words, H 2 2 is I 2 by V 2 with I 1 set to 0 or port 1 open circuited and H 2 2 is nothing but conductance looking into port 2 with port 1 open circuited. Okay. So, these are the hybrid parameters. Now, it turns out that these hybrid parameters were useful for describing a particular type of transistor. Like I said, you could use any parameter set for any element. Sometimes, some of them will have infinite values and not useful and even when all of them do exist some are more convenient than others. Now, previously there was a particular type of transistor known as the bipolar junction transistor to describe the small signal model of the bipolar junction transistor these h parameters were widely used, but actually the current style is to use y parameters the admittance parameters for both the bipolar transistor and the MOS transistor. Okay. So, you will see those things when you take a course on uh, active circuits that is amplifiers using bipolar transistors and MOS transistors. Okay?